Good morning, Knights, and happy Friday. I'm Jess Kadikin. And I'm Jacob Magdaleno, and this is the Royal Report. Now, for the past month, we've been throwing so much fun and energetic content, but today we want to take this time to honor a tragic time in American history. Tomorrow will be September 11th, and on that day, back in 2001, the nation went silent. Tomorrow marks 20 years since the terrorist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four U.S. planes filled with innocent civilians. They attacked the Twin Towers, the Pentagon, and targeted another building but failed due to brave passengers who took the initiative and took back control of the last plane. So on September 11th, 2001, I was actually in the Air Force. I was active duty. Um, I was stationed in Fairchild, at Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, Washington. So I was getting ready for work. I had just put my uniform on and I had the news on like I always do when I'm getting ready. But the world's largest mobile phone maker is warning that third quarter sales... And the um, reports were just coming in. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center and we have... It was uh, a little difficult to wake up to news like that as I'm putting on my military uniform to head into work. The base was on lockdown because of the situation it was so fluid at the time, nobody really knew what was going on. Aircraft at the time were grounded just to, until everybody figured out what was going on. So The World Trade Center was the first target. At 8.45 on this Tuesday morning, the first tower was hit, sending the country into hysteria. No one knew what was happening, but when the second plane crashed one hour and 42 minutes later, we as a nation knew something was wrong. The Pentagon, headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense, most likely targeted to take down the strength of our country's leaders. Also, the fourth plane was headed to an unknown location, but due to the strength of our citizens and the teamwork they showed, it became a lesser tragedy. It's a vivid memory, and I think any adult um, who was alive at that time, I think we all can remember exactly where we were when we heard about the attacks. The thought of nearly 3,000 families having to um, get the news of a lost loved one is incredibly horrifying. After the dust settled, Almost 3,000 people lost their lives. However, during this time, American unity and passion was greater than ever before. Citizens from all over the nation gathered together to help clear the damage and rebuild Manhattan. You had American flags flying everywhere, and I think that um, it just showed this sign of solidarity, not just as an American, but worldwide, and uh, it really brought us together. The pride of living in the United States of America on that day, and it was sad that it was such a tragic accident, but it really ended up being um, a time when we came together and showed our strength as a nation. They're just as strong and they're just as capable defending themselves and defending democracy. And we can't have a domino effect. It got to keep on going till we get our brothers and sisters out of there. Everybody's involved in this. Everybody's involved in this. Hey guys, no matter what side or opinion you have, let's all agree that we can unite together as a nation and be proud of the American spirit. We obviously weren't alive at this time, but I hope you teachers can remember as well the unity you saw and felt in that day of chaos and confusion. I hope this video educated everyone a little more on what happened 20 years ago. But on a lighter note, be sure to come tonight and support our fighting nights against Lee Williams at seven. Thank you again, and I'm Jacob Magdaleno. And I'm Jess Kadikin, and I hope you have a fantabulous day.